To be here tonight among some of the most inspiring educators in Sacramento County and to have our district's new superintendent, Mr. Aguilar, my principal, Mrs. Vigil, and one of my favorite students of all time, maybe the favorite, all standing behind me is a true honor. I would first like to thank the committee for selecting me along with Elizabeth to represent our district as Teachers of the Year. I would also like to thank my family here tonight, my stepmom, my sister, and my dad, who was my first and my best teacher, and my husband, Nate, whose love, encouragement, support, and endearing sarcasm provide the foundation for our family and give me so much strength, especially when I'm grading essays at one o'clock in the morning. I finished my 20th year of teaching last year, and I have absolutely no idea how I got this old this fast. <laughs> it really does seem like just yesterday that I was a student back in high school in Mr. Brennan's English class. He was the one who not only inspired me to become a teacher, but who helped heal my spirit when I needed it the most. My mom had passed away when I was 10, and the years following her death were full of sadness and confusion. But it was Mr. Brennan's class that taught me lessons through literature about life and loss and death and love and all of these things that I finally figured out. And what I realized in Mr. Brennan's class was that although I didn't have an answer then for why I had lost my mom, perhaps one day I would know. And I think I may have finally figured it out. In my 20 years of teaching, I've created what I can only describe as a tribe of motherless daughters. I've connected with these girls in ways that only someone who has gone through this type of loss can. I've gone to the funerals with them, and I've hugged them tightly at school on the Mondays following Mother's Day. I've been their sounding boards when their fathers have started dating or remarried. I've helped them shop for prom dresses and apply to college, and I've cried as they crossed the stage at graduation. But our connection didn't stop there. As they got older, I helped them plan their weddings, and I even officiated a few of them. And most recently, I've held their newborn babies hours after they were born, just as their own mothers would have. And I swear I taught them the English content standards too. <laughs> we are not just teachers, we are healers. We are the ones our students turn to when they don't think they have anyone else in the world to connect with. Every single day we are entrusted with other people's children and we have the opportunity to profoundly impact them in lifelong, immeasurable ways and to even heal ourselves a little bit in the process. Thank you.